Hello friends, welcome you all. Today's session that is about different IPDM model that is integrated plant disease models. So before moving forward, let's see the learning objectives. In that uh, first, let's quickly recall the last lecture. During last lecture, we studied development and validation of IPM module. Now, uh, let's first brush up the basic that is uh, what is IPDM or uh, how will you define IPDM. Then uh, different models in that first one we are going to see that is IPDM uh, model for uh, rice crop. Then second one IPDM model for sugarcane and last that is summary. So first one what is IPDM? IPDM, uh, it involves the management system which utilizes the compatible combinations of all the available techniques to keep the pathogen population below the ETL, ETL that is economic threshold level, which would not result in economically unacceptable damage to the crop. Here combination of practices are used in case of uh, IPDM that is integrated plant disease management. So here first crop that is uh, rice. So first let's discuss or let's see what are different diseases which attacks on rice. These are divided into three categories in that first one fungal diseases, then second one bacterial diseases, third one viral or phytoplasmal diseases. So first that is fungal diseases. There are around uh, four categories that is a uh, blast which is a foliar disease which attacks on the foliage, lives in some cases it also attacks on the node, etc., neck, then the pathogen, it survives on the collateral host, collateral host, then uh, next one, second brown spot of rice, this disease, it is a seed bone and a foliar disease, then next one that is a sheath rot, sheath blight, foot rot and stem rot. All these diseases, these are soil borne, particularly sheath blight, which is caused by rhizoctonia. Then uh, second, next one, that is a false smut, that is a seed borne disease. Then next one, bacterial disease, that is a bacterial leaf blight, which is seed borne disease. And uh, the pathogen, it survives on the collateral host, that is a host of the same family. Then next, viral or phytoplasmal disease. In that uh, rice to grow virus, it is a viral disease. The pathogen, it survives on the weeds and dissemination, it occurs by the vectors, insects. That is a hopper. So, what are different uh, integrated disease management uh, combination practices so that uh, we can manage the diseases or we can prevent the disease? So first one that is a cultural one uh, in that select the healthy seed, disease free seed from certified source so that disease will not uh, carry forward in uh, next generation. Then next one selection of resistant cultivars. For example, in case of blast disease, IR8 is a resistant cultivar. Then next that is false mud in that IR22 is the resistant cultivar. Then uh, since in many diseases, the pathogen, it survives on the collateral host. So remove and destroy the collateral host. For example, panicum repens, then uh, excess fertilization, that is a uh, excess dose of nitrogen. It increases the disease incidence or severity. So avoid the excess nitrogen, go for balanced fertilization or recommended dose, then uh, roguing of uh, disease plants, then since the pathogen, it survives in the seed, so go for the proper seed treatment with chemicals, that is seed dressers, systemic fungicide, that is carbendazin or tricyclazole at the rate 2 gram per kg seed, or you can give 3% uh, brine solution treatment, that is of uh, common salt. Next, IPDM in rice, in this case, need based foliar application of uh, carbendazim and tricyclazole uh, at recommended dose is given to control the blast. Then uh, for sheath blight and sheath rot, validamycin uh, is used. Then 
for uh, managing the vectors, uh, soil application of uh, carbifrin granules at recommended rates is followed. Next crop that is sugarcane. So let's see what are the different diseases which attacks on the sugarcane. So it is divided into two categories, fungal diseases and viral or phytoplasmal diseases. In that first one, fungal diseases, uh, first disease that is red rot. It is a sedborne disease and disseminate through the irrigation water. Then second one, that is a weep smut. It is also a sedborne disease and disseminate through the windborne spores, particularly sporidia. Then uh, next disease, that is a pineapple disease, which is also called as a set rot. It is also a sedborne disease. Then uh, in case of viral diseases or phytoplasmal diseases, first one, that is a grassy shoot, uh, which is caused by a phytoplasma, uh, but transmitted by a vector. Then uh, sugarcane mosaic, it is a viral disease the pathogen virus, it survives on the weeds. Then uh, next one that is ratoon stunting. The disease, it is a set bone and uh, disseminated by insect vector since it is a viral disease. So let's see the combination practices that is IPDM in sugarcane. Cultural one that is uh, collect and destroy the infected uh, crop debris, burn them, then uh, next one since most of the diseases, these are set bonds, so go for the set treatment in that uh, first one, that is physical treatment, hot water treatment of sets, uh, that means for 52 degrees Celsius for uh, one hour, then uh, next one, that is a moist hot air treatment. The sets are exposed at uh, 54 degrees Celsius moist hot air for, our, for about uh, eight hours, then uh, balanced irrigation and fertilizer it also plays a very important role. Then uh, in case of uh, ratooning, avoid the selection of material from the ratoon crops. Then for, in case of uh, viral diseases, to control the vector, go for need-based spray of systemic insecticides like methyl dimeton, imidacloprid, etc. Then uh, for controlling the smut disease, deep the seeds for around 10 minutes at concentration of 0.5% Vitavax solution. So, uh, in case of conclusion, so far we studied IPDM, that is Integrated Plant Disease Management, how to define it, what is the concept, then different IPDM models, that is for rice and for sugarcane. Thanks for joining session. Take care, see you soon.